Alright guys, welcome to your 16th computer networking tutorial and in this video I want to talk to you guys about the OSI model. Now the OSI model is something that confuses a lot of people but it's actually an incredibly useful model if taught correctly for not only understanding how computer networks work but also specifically how two computers communicate with each other. So if you had a hard time understanding, you know, the big picture of computer networking and how everything was kind of, you know, pieced together, what this model is going to do is not only give you a really good broad overview, but it's also going to take the individual pieces and clarify how each part works part by part. So what it does is it basically starts with the user experience, basically you looking at your computer and it explains everything all the way down to when you know those electric signals are traveling across the copper wire to another computer. So it does this in the form of layers. Now this model calls you know the different parts of it layers but the layers in this model are basically just different pieces of how a computer network works. Now like I said it starts with you know just you your user experience you looking at the computer and the first layer is called the application layer. Now this is basically software applications. It's basically the user looking at whatever program they have running on the computer. Now this layer usually, you know, involves things like Firefox, um, you know, Google Chrome. Those are, you know, probably the two biggest ones that users use whenever they're networking. And also, you know, whatever program you use for email and stuff. It's basically software applications this is the layer again like I said closest to the user experience software applications or programs now the next layer is called the presentation the presentation layer now this is the layer that your operating system works on now what this does is it basically converts text that the user can understand like uh, you know letters and numbers because of course whenever you type something into your email you're typing you know just basic letters and numbers a language that you can understand but that isn't the language that your computer can understand your computer actually one of the languages that understands is something called ASCII and this is you know we'll talk about different you know languages and stuff like that later on but this is basically a very simple um, language that your computer can understand because you know it can't understand English like you can it needs its own special thing so that's what your operating system does in this layer it converts text that the user can understand like letters and numbers to basically stuff that the computer can understand and it just makes it more easy to work with the data when it's in this form right here now another thing that the presentation layer does is it also encrypts data and whenever I say encrypts data I mean put a special code on it so that hackers you know just can't tap into it and steal your data look you know what you're sending it in your email and stuff like that and we'll talk more about the presentation layer later on but just remember right now that it's the layer that your operating system resides on now the next layer is actually the session layer now if you're familiar with you know like PHP programming or anything like that then you already know what a session is a session is pretty much a conversation between two computers so what this layer does is let me just go ahead and write conversation between two computers so whenever computers are in the process of having a conversation with one another we call this conversation a session now this layer is responsible for you know starting and ending conversations or sessions and it's also responsible for getting data from a website so with this say that you wanted to get data from a website this layer would go ahead and create a session or start a conversation with a web server and whenever you know during the conversation it would help maintain the communication and if something you know disrupted your communication it would try to reestablish um, the link between it so you know you guys could still communicate and whenever it was done this is the layer right here that is responsible for ending the conversation so a session is basically like a conversation or communication between two computers and this right here is responsible for pretty much starting ending and maintaining that conversation. Now the next layer I want to talk about is called the transport 
the transport layer and this we'll talk about what packets are later on but basically let me give you guys a real you know quick overview and this is not the technical definition so please I don't want to get you know a thousand comments a packet is pretty much like a chunk of data that you deliver from one computer to another whenever you know you have an email and you want to send it to another computer what your computer does is you, it breaks it up into smaller chunks of data just because it's easier for your computer to work with smaller chunks of data rather than one big one so these chunks of data are actually called packets and I sometimes use the word packet and frame interchangeably but there is a difference I'll talk about that later on so basically what this does is it ensures that packets I'll just write packets are delivered 